Hello everyone, my name is Fox. This video was initially going to be a head-to-head -head comparison on Intel Tiger Lake versus AMD Renoir, and specifically looking at how well each platform compares, especially with regard to clock tuning and specific power schema changes like modifying EPP modes. However, because Intel drivers on Windows are pretty broken for God of War at the moment, it kind of soured that notion. Instead, this video will be looking at the current problems with Intel drivers compared to AMD drivers with day one patches for God of War with the following configurations. On both Windows builds, they are running the latest versions of Windows 11. For AMD, I'm running 22.1.1 Radeon drivers, and on Intel, I'm running the latest 1191 drivers. On Linux, I'm effectively running two different distros, but on the AMD 4500U platform, I'm running 21.199 RAD-V drivers, and on Intel, I'm running 21.34 MESA drivers. Before we get into the meat of this video, I wanted to briefly take a look at the settings that were used across every device. I did choose an aspect ratio of 16 by 9 because the GPD Win 3 has a 720p display, and even though the WinMax and IONEO both have an 800p display, across all platforms the effective render resolution is 360p when using the performance mode on FSR. You'll see me change the FPS limit here, but during the testing I effectively had it uncapped so you can see what the best FPS we could hit throughout, and I'll explain power settings as we go along. This video will be broken down into a few parts. The first part will be taking a look at the current problems on Intel drivers compared to AMD, but showing how this is exclusively a Windows Intel driver issue as the game does actually work correctly on Linux. The second part will be examining performance between the AMD Linux build as well as the AMD Windows build. And last will be my recommended settings for running God of War on the current set of handhelds. Alright, first up let's take a long look at all the ways that God of War isn't working on Intel Windows. The absolute biggest problem here is that because there is an inconsistent loading issue, you can find yourself getting trapped in-game with zero way to force progression. Your only hope being that you can restart the game, and the next time, you'll make it through that specific section. Here we can see that I'm only waiting for a button prompt to close out this tooltip, but the button prompt never actually appears, and we find ourselves just infinitely waiting. Even pressing the E button on the keyboard doesn't do anything to advance this part. Along these same lines with inconsistent loading, sometimes Kratos' armor and weapons aren't rendered, sometimes the boy isn't fully rendered, and sometimes even enemies don't render in time. What this is kind of similar to is in emulators where you have the ability to async compile shaders, and you'll see nothing while this is being worked on in favor of not stopping the game. The only problem is that it's completely erratic, and sometimes things will load just fine, and other times it won't. These are largely the biggest problem right now in Intel drivers on Windows. The last, which isn't a huge issue but isn't great, is the muddy textures throughout. Everywhere you look, you'll find smeared and smoothed out textures, making the game actually look like it's rendering at 360p, when God of War does an excellent job of looking quite nice despite the very low settings. Now, if we compare this to running on Linux with latest message drivers and an experimental Proton layer, none of these issues are present. It's okay to excuse the performance in this segment, as the build of Linux I'm running on the Pocket 3 is a quagmire of settings and TDP is low here. The point of this segment is more to show that Tiger Lake iGPU can actually run this game okay. In this particular segment, we're going to be pitting AMD versus AMD, specifically Linux versus Windows. Now on the left-hand side, you can see that I'm running my one of my first versions of the IA Neo, which is the 4500U version. On the right-hand side is the GPD WinMax 2021. Their only version that they have is the 4800U. I am running this at 20 watt TDP, PL1 and PL2, so that it's effectively locked at 20 watt. On the IONEO, I am not adjusting TDP at all. Effectively, what that means to you is it's using default TDP, which is 17 watts. Additionally, the 4500U has two less Vega cores, two less GPU cores. So this is a modest disadvantage that the IONEO has versus the 4800U. The only difference here being that the Proton optimizations actually are keeping 
toe to toe with the Windows build, despite having a power disadvantage, despite having a GPU core disadvantage, it's keeping up rather well. So this speaks volumes to how great the Proton optimizations have been done on the God of War build. So really kudos to everyone involved here. This is a really fantastic showing despite the disadvantage. Mostly what I'm going to be saying here is if you have an AMD GPU and you're running on Linux or Windows, you're going to have a really good time. This last segment is my personal preferred settings. Now, this really just comes down to two very simple settings is setting TDP to 12 watt and statically clocking the GPU to 1.1 gigahertz. With those two settings, everything else in the display and graphics settings should be as low as possible. I would also say using Fidelity FX Super Resolution at performance is best. This will have your resolution, so the rendering resolution will be half of whatever the output resolution is. However, because there can be inconsistencies with different enemies and other things coming on, frame rate can get pretty erratic. So just having it at the lowest possible, you're not going to get achieve 60 in any way, shape, or form by boosting TDP. So the overall benefit here is targeting 30 FPS, and you'll have an overall consistent gameplay experience. Additionally, even though it's running at a rather small render resolution, the God of War team did a fantastic job with running on a handheld the art direction still carries through despite the fact that it's running at the lowest settings possible it actually looks fantastic despite the fact so really well done on that uh, side but specifically when we look at the gpd winmax amd version i can effectively get three hours of gameplay here of consistent 30 fps with the output resolution at 800p or 720p that's pretty much it for this particular video. I'll probably take another look at God of War as things progress and there's uh, updates to Intel drivers and I get some new hardware or whatever. Uh, but that's probably going to take months at this point. As always, guys, thank you for your time and thanks for watching.